Most time, my husband should come down to Nigeria. I notice one thing. There's a particular lady that my husband do chats that is in Nigeria. I find out that my husband already built a house for this stupid lady. Even set a big shop. In fact, even me, myself, when I was in Nigeria, I did not have such a shop like that. My husband will be giving me a lot of infection. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Neye Baby. So, guys, today, I have a woman here by my side. She contacted me. There is something she would like us to put mouth, just to hear what happened in her life, what she has been passing through, guys. Things that happen for this life, for oh. hmm. Some people get mind. But anyway, Sha, let's hear from her. All right, ma, please. Uh, we are going to be very fast. Just go straight to the point. The reason why you contacted me. You can start now. Sorry. Good Should I give you share? This one, are you tired already? Sorry. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm here to share my story. Um, as in my real life story that has been bothering me, things that have been bothering me in my marriage. Actually, my husband married me fully, legally. Traditional court wedding, white wedding. Because when we are in Lagos, in Nigeria then, me and my husband, we suffered a lot. We struggle, make sure we bring food to the table. And my husband himself see the way the situation of Nigeria is. So I have money more than my husband. So I told my husband that we should find a way to move forward to another next level. So my husband suggested that he, him that he should travel out first. I said, okay. But actually, my husband did not have much to travel out of the country. But I suggested I bring my own money and his own money to join together so that him first can travel out. My husband traveled to abroad, to Germany. He was doing fine. He was doing well before he sent invitation to me and the children. So now, me and my husband, we are in Germany now for like five years now. But most time, my husband should come down to Nigeria. I noticed one thing. There's a particular lady that my husband do chat that is in Nigeria. When I could find out... I found out that my husband already built a house for this stupid lady. Even set a big shop. In fact, even me, myself, when I was in Nigeria, I did not have such a shop like that. He set a big shop for her. The lady is selling provision, cosmetics, many things. She even has like 10 sales girls that is working under her. Hmm. It's a big shop. Very, very big. If you hear mini store, supermarket. But what is my concern is that most time, my husband will say he's coming down for a project in the village. Why not? Why uh, for a, a project in the village? Me, myself, will not know that my husband is coming down to come and see his side chick. They will stay like two months before my husband come down to a uh, jam neighbor. I was wondering... One day, I said, the day that my husband came back to back to Germany, my husband came down, I saw pictures of she, of the lady and him in the hotel room, where they are naked, even all sorts of rubbish is inside my husband's phone. I cross-check everything. I picked the lady's phone on my phone. I saved everything. I screenshot the message. I saved everything. But the worst part is that, Every time I'll be, I'll be going for hospital to treat many, many infections. My husband will be giving me a lot of infection, like staphylococcus, or the STD for I do. In fact, I've, I've not many infection with my money. My husband, because of this side chick of leg in Nigeria now, my husband refused to pay my children's school fees, mm. and now I'm even. Pregnant for my husband, the third baby now. I'm heavily pregnant. Very soon, this month, I'll deliver because my daughter has given me appointment time. 
My husband refused to pay the school fees of my children. I do myself. I pay my children's school fees. I pay the bill. I pay everything in this journey we had together. I just see because of psychic, my old one just suddenly changed attitude, giving me many attitudes. Okay, I so hold on. In Germany, do you pay school fees? We pay. Our governments, our government sponsor their education. No government. We pay. It's a private. We pay. Are I you pay. Sure? Yes. I but pay. I want to know is it is it real? It's real. The they pay school fees there. Yes. You will pay. So I pay the I uh, thought they don't pay school fees over there. They pay. You pay. We pay. So we pay house rent. We pay utility bill. I do myself. Because since that, my husband have been giving me attitude. I pack my things and go and stay with my friend in nearby um, neighborhood, close to my house. So I called one of my cousin brother. He's here in Nigeria. I told him to please to help me check about this lady. So I forward the lady's number to my cousin brother. And my cousin brother himself pretended as if he's a rich man to get the girl intention. Just to trap the girl, to know the way about the girl, to know his her shop, to know everything about her. My, my cousin brother start tracking the girl. Now find out, give me all the details about the girl. Say the girl herself is an Igbo girl. Imagine. That the girl herself has a shop, has 10 sales girl. In fact, even said that my, uh, he, my husband himself is giving that girl allowance. Like every, every month is giving her 200k. Hmm. And I'm sure now that... With, I think even the project my husband is saying, I'm, I'm, my mind is telling me maybe my husband is building house for that stupid side chick. My brother found out everything. He told me the the lady's store is not in you know, Baja. That if I see the store, that in fact, very big, full of loaded goods, that in fact, the lady is, is enjoying. Why me am I in Germany paying bills? Sponsoring my children, only me. So now I've contacted my elders in the village with my husband's elders, their family, that they should try and find out what is going on. My, 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 my husband has finally changed attitude that see what is going on in my marriage. But they don't have say because my husband is rich and is rude. He doesn't listen to anybody. Because he has the money. If you talk, he will talk to you anyhow. Because you can't even dare talk to him because he's a rich man. So when my husband noticed that, that I've already found out that he has a side chick. So I told him I want to sue him to court. For me to just go our separate way. Let him go. I should go. But my husband knew that in Germany, yeah, if you... If you guys have issue and you went to go and report, most uh, properties will belong to the woman. That's why my husband came back, start begging me to forgive him, that he doesn't want me to separate from him. But I told him, you don't want me. Which, why are you begging me? Are you begging me inside of your side cheek? Or you, are you begging me in all those infections and disease you'll be giving me? That which one are you begging for? Because I don't understand you begging me now. Because you, the, all these things you are doing to me, you are not making me to enjoy the marriage. Rather, you are frustrating me. Plus the pregnancy I am. I went the last time to the hospital. The doctor checked my PP. It was too high. And the doctor said, what am I thinking? That did I want to be myself? That if I do not cool down, and give myself a rest of mind that they will this my pregnancy may go on on operation and now this my husband have have been been problem to me plus the side chick and my cousin brother said maybe i should try fly down to nigeria to come and see the side chick maybe we will get her arrest that's the reason why i called you know, to please 
to just advise me or send my story to people so they can advise me in what to do is it to give my husband a space or we should divorce or i should take the girl to the police station i don't even know what to do because me myself i'm not comfortable are you sure that this girl knows that your husband is married hmm? he knows how, they all knows how how sure are you my husband might be lying to this guy that he's a single man. He no, she no. Because why I'm saying she no? Because she, my husband used to tell her that he, the wife is in a brother. She not be scared anytime they are in the hotel where, where room. Did, where did you see this one? They met in Lagos. The guy, the girl, and the your husband. My husband, yes. They met in Lagos because we are in Lagos then before we travel out to abroad. So the girl in question knows that my husband is married with children because most times he will say, ah, they feel make your, he say, you don't need to be scared about it because my, my children and my wife are not in Nigeria. We can do anything, enjoy our life. Say, I go back. He knows because anytime my husband go back, he knows. Only what they do, they don't call themselves. They will all go on WhatsApp. All the nonsense they did when they are in Nigeria, I used to sit on their WhatsApp. But my husband never knew that. I've already checked the phone. I got the girl number. When the day that he find out I got the girl number, I told my husband, I'm going to deal with the girl. I'm going to take the girl to police station. I'm going to pour acid on her. But my husband was begging me. I don't know why my husband was begging me for that. For, 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 for forgiveness. Maybe I should forgive him for me not to go and fight the girl. Okay, or, so please, turn, turn first. Let's see. You are heavily pregnant and you're looking for who to go and uh, start. Or you're turn, turn again. You are heavily pregnant, so you have to be very careful. Do you get? My sister, I'm even tired. I know, but calm down first and deliver your baby. I understand. Ma, please calm you, down and deliver you. You don't know what I've been going through. I'm the only one paying the bills now. And my husband knows the, the, the way we suffer from Nigeria to Germany. I'm the one providing everything. It just, it has to just change. Since he and the girl has been contacted themselves, say, do you all sort of rubbish anytime it comes to Nigeria? My sister, you will not understand. I, I, I'm, I'm many pains that I'm going through in that marriage. You, you will know that I've tried a lot. Okay, plus the STD, staphylococcus, all this, all this uh, uh, infection and disease. Sometimes I will just stay my 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 vagina will be just be scratching me in the sake of all this marriage of a thing. After my husband sleep with me, you will start seeing me. I will start scratching my bum bum, scratching everything, having all these small, small ratchets under my my vagina in the name of marriage. Is it on see this man give me HIV or what? Or oh, what do you think? What is your family saying? You know you have two children with this man. And at this point now, this moment that you are pregnant, you need to calm down. Deliver your baby first. I don't know if you are getting me. Yes. Ma, please calm down. That is the reason why I come down to Nigeria to come and show the girl one or that I know that my husband used all the money I invested in Germany to be sending her money to build up a that shop. And I'm sure that that girl did not know that I'm in Nigeria. Even my husband did not know that I mean I came to Nigeria to come and find this this stupid girl of a thing. She didn't know. My husband did not know that I came down to to make inquiry about her, to find out the whole details about her. My husband thought maybe I just come down to Nigeria to come and check my family. He did not know. I And the girl in question did not know that I'm around. I came down to come and Have you seen the shop? I've Are you sure that the shop exists? Yes, it exists. It's at the Yenukwaja. Hmm. This Yenukwaja is there. The way my uh, cousin, uh, my cousin brother, told me exactly the way the shop is. I gave them the photo of the girl. I gave her. The, I gave the. I gave my brother the photo of the girl. I gave him the the number of the girl. I even gave my brother the the name of the girl. She's an Igbo girl from Owerri State. Owerri. Yes. Uh, where are you from? Ma? I'm from. Abia states and my husband is from Anambra. Hey, no, no mention this Anambra again. I beg. Hey, what till we do now? Okay, guys, please. Um, according to her, I don't want her to stand up too much. 
she's pregnant and heavily pregnant. So um, I have to round up this video now. Please, let's advise her. But to me, I would like to tell her to calm down first. No matter what, let her calm down and deliver her baby. When she not deliver her baby, any other thing can follow up. Because if she use this anger now and go and start looking for who to, you know, deal with, it's not going to be funny. Let her free herself first. Do you get? I understand you, my I sister. I understand your anger, but please calm down. You are hurting yourself, please. I swear. Calm down. Oh my, all this husband that will not stay one place, what will go do now? Eh? You have a good wife, and you will go and be sponsoring ch side chick. Huh? I'll be what did they call her? <laughs> side chick. You will go and be sponsoring si side chick where your wife is there. Instead of you and your wife to join hands together and make things work out, join hands together, take care of the family, live a good life, you will be spending your money on side chick. Hmm. When I get mine though, your wife will be there, you'll be planning another life with another woman inside the same house. When they try, but it's only God that will judge some men, Sha. Ma, please, just don't bother yourself. God, uh -uh. just tell God your problems. Sorry, I'm coming. Just tell God everything. Cry to your God. You can't fight this alone. It's just God's grace you need in your life now. Since your husband, after everything you people have passed through together, the only thing he choose is just to come down to Nigeria and start sponsoring another woman, even to start up a big, big, big shop for her. You know how much the man have spent there now? I bet they use juju on him. I don't even know. I don't even know. That girl has been controlling my husband like a remote control. In fact, so. thank you guys for watching this video. Please let's pray for her for self delivery. Do you? Sorry, let's just turn. Let's pray for you guys. Please let's pray for her for self delivery. She's going to deliver safe in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All right. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Sorry. Wait. Wait. Let me off the camera.